Hi, thank you for clicking on the video and I hope everyone is doing really well. So Freely made a video criticizing one of my favorite YouTubers, Unnatural Vegan. So in defense, I'm going to be watching this video and probably not liking what Freely has to say. I hate that people feel the need to defend others against Freely because like we should not be at odds with each other. In theory, we're all trying to accomplish the same goal. It's just when there's someone literally attacking others, that's when defense is necessary. This video is entitled Unnatural Vegan Bunker Prep Diet for World War III and Much Protein. Freely has this theory or this idea that if you eat anything processed or anything that is in powder form, that's wartime food, like in the 1940s. We're in 2022 and technology, food technology has expanded to where we have these things now, not back then. I always tend to really like unnatural vegans food videos. I'm gonna enjoy her video while simultaneously not enjoying Freely's. Hey Frugivore, welcome back to Frugivore Diet Channel. So today's video is going to be having a look at Unnatural Vegan's latest What I Eat in a Day. It is a short, it is a short one which is great. 58 seconds, shouldn't be too painful. This is gonna be painful for us, the viewers. Also, I apologize if you could hear my stomach. It is almost 8 a.m. and I need to eat. And um, so we're gonna watch that and I'm also wondering why Swayze stopped responding to me after I revealed her book um, issue. Okay, if you haven't seen the book video, um, her still selling the book when she was actually writing the book off, you know, there's a whole lot of controversy there, but she just suddenly, she suddenly stopped responding, which does not make her look guilty. It doesn't make her look sketchy. If you actually watch Unnatural Vegan's videos about her book, denouncing it, she explains everything very concisely, very clearly. Even I think Freely could understand. But then again, Freely doesn't seem to understand basic science. So are we surprised mm, that she's still going on about this? Mm, no. Makes her look a little bit guilty, doesn't it? You know, we, we know that Swayze never does that. She always responds, 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 but suddenly she doesn't respond anymore. So. When someone is purposefully not paying attention, purposefully not listening, purposefully choosing to not get it, yeah, why would she keep responding to someone like that? Like, you're not worth her time. You're just being annoying to be annoying. You're so set on making people be wrong, intolerable. 12 years vegan. Well, some people may debate that status. They may. Um, here's what I ate today. Easy and high in protein, of course. <laughs> Gotta get that protein in, don't you? Gotta get those aminos. Uh, correct. Uh, you do, as a human, need to get protein in. Our body needs up. Here's what I ate today. So first I had my coffee with... What? She's got, she's got a chocolate bar. She's got coffee and a chocolate bar to break the fast, to put in your stomach, to hydrate yourself. I mean, like you need to hydrate yourself when you wake up. Let's remember that unnatural vegan is a mother. Being able to even slightly sit down first thing in the morning and have coffee and a little something to eat is an accomplishment. This is extremely dehydrating to have caffeine, to have burnt, coffee, beans, which are seeds, and um, a literal chocolate bar, right? Very bunker, very bunker food. Very bunker food. If anyone watching this ever lived during the time of the need for bunkers, shelters like that, did you stock it with chocolate bars? Let me know. Splenda and a little bit of soy milk. Okay, so she's got the like Splenda, she's got the fake sugar in there too. Soy milk, okay, um, well, can't have, she's, she's so scared of sugar and fruit, it's so sad. She's so scared of sugar. <laughs> she's eating a literal chocolate bar. Make it make sense. And a Nugo bar, the Nugo Slim bar is 17 grams of protein. Ch <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, like, the whole protein focus, her, it's just so, ah, what are you doing, Swayze? Like her, I've 
come to realize that I feel my best. I feel good when I'm eating a high protein diet. And it's not even like my diet is high, high in protein. It's like, it's like relatively higher than other vegans who think you can only eat fruit. She's discovered and figured out through 12 years of trial and error that this is what works best for her. For Freely to be like, what are you doing? It's quite obvious what she's doing if you just paid attention and actually listened to what a natural vegan talks about when it comes to her own diet and life experience around food. But Freely has this set idea and has to make everything that she thinks she hears fit into that idea. It might not actually be what people are saying, but she has to somehow make it fit her mindset that is unwavering, refuses to be open-minded, or come to the conclusion that she possibly could be wrong. There's nothing bad or wrong about saying, you know, I could be wrong. And I'm open to hearing what other people have to say. And this goes across the board for all subjects. Like, it's okay to not always be right. And if you are always right, it's okay to still be open to the idea that maybe you're wrong. And then come to the conclusion that I am always right. 12 years and you're still clueless. I just, I can't, I don't, oh wow. I don't understand how you can be clueless about your own body. With that being said, I used to be clueless when it came to my own body because I was listening to outside voices. There's a lot of outside factors and I wasn't listening to myself. Of all the factors to listen to, the one that I should have been listening to, I wasn't. So I was clueless. And at one point, Swayze was also clueless when it came to her own body's optimal intuitive nutrition needs. But she tuned into that. I tuned into that. I figured it out. We are no longer clueless. Freely is clueless about other people's intuitive bodily needs. 17 grams. Talk about constipation bar, right? That's not the way you want to start your day. Protein does not instantly constipate you. Protein is not the source of constipation. It can be for some people who are prone to constipation, but it's not the source. There's a lot of factors that can attribute to constipation. Protein is not inherently one of them. She's gonna feel like going back to bed after eating that. All right, we got a smoothie? Chocolate banana protein smoothie. At least there's some fruit in there, right? At least there's some fruit. More protein though. It's like every meal she has to mention protein. Every time you eat, if you can have a good amount of protein in it, the reason is it fills you up. There's nothing more dissatisfying than eating and then wanting to eat again because that was it didn't it didn't fill that satisfaction level protein helps fill you up and it helps you feel satisfied with all the sources of protein in the world there's so many delicious options why would you shut down that entire category of food options i don't get it the way to my heart honestly is protein powder I don't want a bouquet of flowers. I don't want a box of chocolates. I don't want that shit. Make me a gift basket of just gym bro shit. And I am in, I'm yours. There is, there is something wrong here. There is something wrong. There is something wrong here? Why? Freely's always saying smoothies, smoothies, fruit, blah, blah, blah. And then people do it. And then she's like, what is wrong with these people? Look at these people doing exactly what I said, but oh, they put protein powder in it. Mm. The thing about Freely is there's no good enough. Nothing you do less than becoming her is good enough. She is single-handedly saving the planet and you will never match that unless you just embody everything that she is. You live like her, you think like her, you become her. I'm not saying she's a cult leader. I'm not saying her lifestyle is a cult. Just saying she exhibits cult leader characteristics. That's all I'm saying. Some of this cheesy edamame. I have a video on how to- I don't, I don't know. What cheesy edamame? I'm not sure what the 
cheese is made out of probably you know solidified oil usually so you're having like this solid lamp oil essentially bunker food wartime food lamp oil if you're trying to degrade food can you pick better descriptors to the same foods that she tries to put people off to I could probably put people off, make people think it's disgusting with much better descriptors than any of those. And you know that's just gonna weigh you down. It's going to line your bloodstream with that fat. It's not even that much. Oh my God. It's going to interrupt the flow of the sugar, the carbohydrates into the cell. Like basically it's going to zap your energy, okay? You're not going to get the energy, the fuel that you really need, that clean hit. Um, yeah, edamame, okay. I want to make this. It's super simple. It's so tiny. It's like, how small is this? That would not be satisfying. It's like she's portioned it out there, right? Yeah, she put it in a bowl. It's like she portioned it out. Like, anything can be a portion. Like, you take something and you put it into something else. Oh, that's a portion. Like, she's just showing this snack. It's a snack. It's not a full meal. And she's never claimed that it's a full meal. It's just a snack. Again, this woman has little kids. It's a shock that she's able to have a little snack. You are going to be full after that. Fat, protein, full. Because we know she is still restricting. She's still portion controlling because... She's portion control... <clears throat> How is she portion controlling? Like, just because a person eats within their caloric daily needs is not portion controlling. Really? Encourages binge eating. I'm gonna say it. Her whole lifestyle is binge eating. It's eat as much as you want. I don't care if you're eating as much as you want of fast food or fruit. It's a binge. If you are overeating, you are overeating. Stop trying to sell it as a healthy lifestyle. You, you can't do that. You are selling unhealthy for life. You are setting people up to develop new disorders. You claim that you help people overcome their eating disorders by giving them a new one. She's eating incorrectly, even as a vegan. She's a plant-based eater. Why is unnatural vegan not a vegan? Why are you insisting she's only plant-based? Oh, let me just clarify. Plant-based people don't care about animals. Vegans do. I mean, with this sort of like portion, I mean, you don't have to eat. Why are we looking at Freely's ass? Why is that necessary? Why? That's not, like, literally, stop trying to use your body as a reason for people to be, tr like, people are being tricked. You're not going to look like her. It was not achieved by healthy means because we know how she eats and it's not healthy. I'm not even going to look. Really, literally uses her body as, like, an antidotal evidence that her diet works. Eating that much results like that. And there's no way. Am I calling her a liar? I'm getting pretty close to it. You need to start eating abundantly. This is not satisfying. And she's just basically lying to herself. You have no authority to say she's lying to herself. You have created a whole brand around a lie. So who is really lying to who? Which is a protein waffle. <laughs> she said it again. Oh wow, oh wow. That, I think that was the fourth or fifth time. So what is that now? What is, what? This looks very beige, very, very wartime. She's prepping for World War Three, it seems. Oh my God. It's so beige. Yes, it's a waffle. I'm sorry she didn't put food dye into it to make it look, what, pink, blue? What did you, what did you want? Like, it's a waffle because of the color. It's proof it's bad for you. With Miyoko's butter and syrup and a clementine, sometimes you just need a waffle. Sometimes you just need some vitamin C. And thankfully, yeah, she got some just a little bit. Though. For dinner, some pasta. Well, that's, so that's it, right? That is not a lot. Just because she didn't have a full binge that day doesn't mean it wasn't a lot. She just ate a whole waffle. What? what, 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 what. Pasta, right. And there's not a lot of like, uh, you know, there's a salad there. At least there's some carbohydrates. It's probably protein pasta, right? Pasta, it's just a simple cashew-based nutritional yeast kind of cheesy sauce. Really good. With some garden strips and then... That is going to clog you up. And you know, look, I'm always about the, uh, the plant meats. Almost every plant-based product is full of fiber. 
unless you ha your body has an aversion to fiber, which is not the majority of people, it's not going to clog you up. It, everything, it's plants, it has fiber. There's going to be some oils and fats in those foods too, which makes it like a slip and slide. I'm sorry, that's gross, but true. Of course, over eating actual animals, but I'm critiquing another plant eater here. So I, my expectations a little bit higher, especially after 12 years. I don't expect individuals to still be really eating um, the plant meats. Yes, it's a transitional food. No, it can be a tra transitional food or it can just be a delicious accompaniment to your diet. And you can eat them if you eat meat too. It's not reserved just for vegetarians and vegans. Everyone can eat them. She seems to eat it all the time and sometimes several times a day. That's, she's like devolved so far and she's 12 years in, so it's a shocker. Then some cucumber and tomato with Italian dressing and then BioLife Farm over everything. BioLife Farm over everything. It sounds like fat over everything. Basically. So there are three macronutrients, protein, carbs, fat. When you have all three present, that's called balance. This meal was balanced. I think it's something like cheesy. Okay. Finally, what was- Oh, yes, we have some pineapple, some piña, but not very much. Left of the pineapple and some silk strawberry yogurt. Silk strawberry yogurt. Another tiny little serve there. She's very, very conscious of the serves. That's how it comes. It comes in little, little, the little pots, the little, the little container. She did not package that up into that tiny little thing herself. It's how it comes. And when you buy things at the store, because you live in a, you know, a metropolitan area where we have stores, where it's convenient, you kind of have to buy what's available to you because she's conscious of her weight and she always has been and she's trying, been trying to get lean for forever. You know, like since she was raw, she didn't do it right and now she's back to eating a very cooked, very wartime, very bunker, very World War Three diet, right? She's, she's prepping for World War Three, basically. If we were in bunkers, silk dairy-free yogurt uh, would not make the cut in that bunker. And, um, you know, this is stuff that you would put in the bunker. No, it wouldn't because how are we refrigerating it? Most people's bunkers don't have refrigeration. Okay, so as someone who does know personally, like end of the world people who like prepare for the end of the world and who have like a safe house, they've been planning for let's see, over 30 years for the end of the world, at least 30 years. So they are able to, you know, have a nice safe house, underground bunker for the end of the world. But for us, normal folk who will probably die in the apocalypse. Refrigeration is not on the necessary things for my bunker. After this, I'm gonna go sit down and plan out my bunker. And you can eat in the years time. Um, maybe not this one because it's refrigerated, but you know what I'm saying. No, I really don't know what you're saying. I know you're saying words and those words are kind of forming sentences. But other than that, I have no idea what you are saying freely. I very rarely do. You know, a lot of this stuff. Um, like this, for instance. Yeah. Um, okay. And to anyone who would like to join my bunker, it's bring your own waffle maker, bring your own generator so we can use those waffle makers. Thanks. This. So she had this, she had this chocolate bar essentially, chocolate protein bar, 17 grams. She has a smoothie. Oh, yeah, well, a lot of fat in this diet. There's a lot of fat, a lot of processed. She still seems to feel great. What does that tell you? Oh, that maybe everyone's body is a little different? Hmm, no. I think the only logical conclusion can possibly be she needs to eat more fruit. And not a lot of fresh. You know, there's some fresh in there, but we are fresh beings. Like every single meal, every single bite, really is meant to be fresh. <laughs> it's meant to be living, fresh food. And okay, you know, if you can't, you know, for some reason, eat the high carb plant foods, eat the potatoes. But first, you know, go to the bananas, go to like the plantains first, right? Cook the plantains, cook the fruit first or the breadfruit. I'm allergic to bananas. I can't, I can't do it. And then go to the um you know sweet potatoes and then go to the potatoes and then go here you know but there's no excuse to really eat 
um, you know, a lot of this kind of stuff, you know, when you have other options that are far, far healthier than eating this real, these very old grains sitting in a silo for years, right? And the portion sizing is very obvious. That's what she's doing. Unnatural vegans, her diet seems, I don't know, normal? But yeah, so there's some fruit in there, I guess. Anyway, anyway, Swayze. <laughs> Good to see you there. Um, 12 years vegan. That's what she eats in a day. Always high in protein. I, I just hope she gets it soon, right? It's been so long. It's been so long. I think she gets it. I think she's figured it out. And freely, maybe you figured it out for yourself. You can't make people be you. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you did not enjoy it, you can give it a thumbs down. That is cool too. I don't mind. If you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing and be sure to hit the notification bell to stay notified of all future uploads. If you have any comments, questions, video suggestions, anything at all, feel free to leave that in the comment section below. Be sure to go follow me over on Instagram and I will see you next time. Bye!